Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I am going to be watercolor painting a fish. That is correct. I've done this before. I'll probably do this again in the future. I love drawing fish and I love watercolor painting them as well. So as such, well, I figured, hey, why not watercolor paint a fish in today's video, you know what I'm saying? Today though, I'm going to be using a pencil graph gear 500 mechanical pencil to sketch the fish first off. And then after I sketch the fish, after I sketch the fish, after I sketch the fish, I am then going to watercolor paint it with my Windsor and Newton mobile watercolor set that I have right here. And then after I watercolor paint the fish, I am going to go over all of the lines that I previously made with my pencil graph gear with my Sharpie S gel, uh, well, gel pen in 0.7 millimeter size. If I mess up any of the lines I make with my pencil graph gear, I've also got my pencil click eraser right here, which is of course very clicky because of like it, it, the name of it is click eraser so it had better be clicky you know what i'm saying but i do think without further ado it's now time for me to go ahead and move everything i don't need right now to the side and it is now time for me to go ahead and well start drawing the fish that i'm going to be watercolor painting in today's video so let's go ahead and get some uh, graphite out and let's just go ahead and start uh well working on the fish that i'm going to be working on in today's video uh, so i'm kind of thinking i just want the fish to probably be like right here i'm thinking and I'm thinking a mouth, go like that kind of thing. Not a super big mouth. And let's just kind of have that come all the way down and then back up just like that. And then let's just have that the same on the top. I'm kind of thinking like a, a sunfish sort of look today. And then let's have the tail come all the way up and then all the way back down, taking up the majority of the page. Just like that, and there we go. That is what I want. I do think I want to fix this right here, though. Uh, this is just not lining up as well as I want it to, so I'm just going to fix that real quick. And so let's just go ahead and just have that come straight, and then go down just like that. Hmm. Just like that. All right. That is much better now. That is much better. I do kind of want the tail to be a little bit closer to the fish as well, like for it to be more like that, but I think it's just fine. I think it's just fine. I don't think I need to really worry about correcting anything else. Let's go ahead and add some teeth real quick. And the teeth for this fish are not going to be super big by any means, but there are going to be a bunch of them. Just like that. And for this fish today, I didn't talk about what I, what colors I wanted to do uh, for the fish today or anything like that. I am tempted to just do black fish to just to just uh, to just watercolor paint the fish in black. In all honesty, uh, I do like doing just monochromatic uh, pieces of artwork, but I am considering. And I don't know if I'm actually going to do it or not. I am considering doing like a multicolored fish today. I think that would be really interesting. Maybe doing like green and red could be interesting. Uh, those colors tend to work pretty well together. So maybe a green and red fish instead of going for the whole monochromatic um, look for a fish where I only do the fish in black. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm kind of thinking on that in, uh, for, uh, at the moment. I'm just going to go and put an eye right there and an eye right there. Just absolutely tiny eyes. And let's go ahead and add some fins just like that. And I think I want to put this fish, this, this fin, not this fish, this fin, make it a little bit bigger. Just like that. And let's just add another fin right there, but I'm not happy with that fin. So I'm going to redo that real quick. I kind of want this fish to be big, but then all the details of it are kind of small. And there we go. I think uh, that, fin, that fin is interesting looking, but it doesn't match the rest of the fins. And I want it to match the rest of the fins. So I'm going to have to race that and try it again. Let's see. All right. Once again, I don't know why I keep doing this. I don't know why I keep doing this. It is what it is, though. It is what it is, though. There we go. Much better. Much better. There we go. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I think that is all I want to do for the fins now, and I think that's all I want to do for the fish. Uh, so now it is time for me to go ahead and officially start actually watercolor painting the fish that I'm going to be watercolor painting in today's video with my Windsor and Newton uh, mobile watercolor set. I'm going to grab 
uh, this pot I have right here to help stand up the set. Uh, because otherwise it's going to fall over because uh, it doesn't like to stand up on its own for whatever reason which is a little bit annoying i think for today's video i'm going to be using this brush right here this is the fundamentals creative mark a uh, six shader and i think i'm going to be using that for the entire fish in today's video i don't think there's anything uh, any details that i don't want to do with this i don't think there's any reason for me to use a bigger brush or a smaller brush in today's video i think this one should work perfectly and now i'm going to go ahead and get some water uh, from my purified water bottle from lytle in this little red cup right here that I use for all of my watercolor paintings. Just put a little bit more in. That should work. And now I'm just going to go and drink some as well. And now I've really got to figure out, okay, like what colors do I want to do? Do I want it to be multicolored? Do I want to just do monochromatic? I am very tempted to do monochromatic, but I also do kind of want to do multicolored as well. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I do want to do monochromatic, but at the same time, I want it to be multicolored. Mmm, this is hard. This is hard. Man, I gotta make a decision. I gotta make a decision. I thought about this before. I, I literally, I, I literally was like, kind of, I was, I literally put off making this video for like 20 minutes. And I just like looked at social media for 20 minutes because I was just kind of like, you know what? I don't know whether I want to make this monochromatic or, or uh, uh, like multicolored kind of thing. And I was just kind of like, okay, you know what? Let's just not think about it for 20 minutes and I'm going to come back to it and I'm going to decide then. And it's been uh, like 30 minutes and I still haven't decided. Yeah. Uh... If this was a live stream, I'd be like, okay, I'm just going to let you guys decide. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This isn't a live stream. This is a, this is a, this is a real video kind of thing. Oh man. Oh man. I don't know. Um, maybe what I'll do instead of doing it in black, maybe I'll go for monochromatic with a different color, but a darker color. I think that might be what I do. I tend to do lighter colors with most of my fish and stuff, but maybe I should try trying to, trying to do a monochromatic look, not in black, but let's say in red. I think that could be good. I think I'm going to try doing that. So it's like a half compromise kind of thing. I'm still doing monochromatic, but I'm not doing it in black. I'm doing it in a different color. I'll, I think I'm going to go with that. I think I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to try to make it like really, really, really dark red. So let's go and grab a bunch of red. And let's just go ahead and start going at it. Well, this is kind of like a magenta. So, well, never mind. This isn't really red, is it? It is what it is. But I want some really, really, really like rich, deep hues. I don't want this to, I don't want this to just be a basic drawing kind of thing. I want it to have a lot of really rich, uh, deep hues all over the place kind of thing. I want it to still look like a lot of the drawing, a lot of the watercolor paintings I do in black, but just in a different color instead, I think. I can't believe this is magenta, not not red though. This is supposed to be red and it's it's magenta. This is so whack. What the heck? I've been fooled. I've been fooled, that's for damn sure. And I think I'm just gonna finish off doing the bottom before I start working on the top.
And of course, this is just the base layer. I'm gonna be doing more layers on this, of course. Oopsies, it's okay, it's not a big deal. Perfect, got that all cleaned up. Not too worried about the teeth, but the eye I definitely want to make sure stays white. The teeth, uh, it's I prefer them to stay white, but it's not too big of a deal if they don't. This is going pretty well so far, though. I cannot complain. This is a lot of fun. Trying to do a different color, but still trying to make it look the same as like a lot of my other monochromatical works. It's honestly been a lot of fun so far, so I can't complain. Just kind of going at it a little bit, a uh, little bit, a little bit sloppy kind of thing. I don't really care uh, too much. Uh, I just want it to look kind of similar to how I how I envision it kind of thing. But I'm not really too worried if it doesn't kind of thing. I'm not really too worried if it doesn't. But I'm liking how it's looking so far. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. It's got kind of a very interesting, like, sort of a, a brushed texture to it, which, which is what I like seeing in all honesty. I don't really like seeing uh, super flat textures by any means, so I really do have no complaints on my behalf. And I think I'm going to start right here, and then I'm just going to start going down like this. these out of the way i don't know if you, you guys can see me moving but i just moved or me moving me moving my pens but i did indeed just move all of my pens out of the way Alrighty, well there we go. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I'm thinking I wanna do uh, some more layers on both the top and the bottom. And then after that, I'm just gonna go ahead and start going over with pen. I don't really think I need too many layers. I just wanna make it look a little bit more interesting, but I'm just gonna go and stand up real quick and just take a look at how it's looking. It's looking pretty good though so far. I'm pretty happy with it. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Uh, yeah, no, let's go ahead and just start adding some more layers, just making it a little bit deeper, a little bit more richer, maybe around some of the edges. And I think that's really all I need to do. Alrighty though, there we go. It's turning out pretty good so far. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Let's go and keep at it.
And now I'm just trying to deepen up a bunch of the middle areas, just make them a, a little bit more dark, but not too much so. Just a little bit darker kind of thing. And I'm gonna darken up some more areas once uh, stuff dries as well. And there we go. Alrighty, so I think the front is mostly all dark like I want. I definitely want to darken up the back, the front of the tail as well. Uh, I think maybe just the top of the front and the back of the front of the tail, but not really this area right here uh, is kind of what I'm thinking. And I think that is all dry now, so I should be all good to do that. So I'm just going to dry off my brush and just go dry on dry, or at least as dry on dry as I can, and just try to get that to get just a little bit dark kind of thing. Just like that, just try to deepen up like that area right there. Just like that. And then I'm gonna try to do the same thing on the top. Just dry off my brush once again, and then just go at it. Just like that, there we go. Alrighty, so those areas are successfully deepened up. I need to deepen up some more of the front of the fish as well. Roll up my sleeve real quick, dry off my brush, and go at it. Just like that.
Alrighty. And I think it is all down done. I don't think there's anything else I want to do. I think I have achieved what I want to achieve. Most of it is dry. There's still, still some wet parts, don't get me wrong, but most of it is dry. Uh, so I think I'm all ready to go ahead and start, well, uh, just uh, going over the fish and everything like that kind of thing, I think tail is all good so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the tail and i'm just gonna go ahead and do one layer with my sharpie s gel pen on the outline of the fish and all of the details of the fish and then after that i'm gonna go ahead and do another layer and then after that that should be the fish all done overall though i am pretty happy with how this is turning out it's monochromatic, just like I like kind of thing, uh, but it's a different color. It's something different, something a little bit a uh, unique kind of thing. I typically wouldn't use like this sort of magenta pink red color, um, but I I'm liking it kind of thing. I'm liking it, although I, I will admit I did not purposefully uh, want to use this color. I wanted to use red, but it turned out it was more like magenta, which is it, which is what it is kind of thing. Uh, but let's just go ahead and do the tail of the fish. Do, 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 do. And I know parts of the fish are, are for, or parts of the color for the fish are kind of sticking out. I don't really mind that in all honesty. In fact, it's actually something I actually quite like. I really don't mind the parts of the fish like kind of sticking out and whatnot kind of thing. It's not something I mind at all. Not something I have an issue with, so it does not bother me. I just think it gives the uh, drawing a little bit of personality in all honesty. And of course, everywhere where there is a sort of a angle on this drawing, I am going to be darkening up. As we can see, I already darkened up one part of the tail. I'm going to darken up this part of the tail and just a little bit. And I'm going to darken up like this area right here as well. Uh, not to the extent where I darken up the tails though. But I'm just going to darken it up just like that kind of thing, just to give it a little bit more of a distinct look. And I'm thinking the black with the magenta is a pretty good like contrast kind of thing. It's something I really do like. Uh, so certainly no complaints for me, that is for sure. Alrighty, there we go. And so I think now I'm going to go ahead and just do a second layer right here. And I'm going to move some of this stuff over. And I'm going to go and do the jaw. Just like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and do, I think, the fins as well. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the eyes, which I'm going to just go like that, make sure y'all can still see what I'm doing. And now I'm going to go ahead and work on the teeth. I think I'm going to flip it upside down uh, just like that. Whoop. My phone is now on 20%, but I think it should be fine for the rest of the video, so I'm not going to plug in my phone at the moment. Uh, but watch, it's going to die, and then I'm going to lose all of my video or something like that kind of thing. That would certainly suck. Let's just go ahead and get all these teeth done. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start doing a second layer on everything and start darkening up all of the details that I want to be darkened up. You know, this fish is turning out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I do like it quite a bit. I do kind of want to try doing a multicolored fish in the future. I guess I just wasn't really feeling it today, but hey, that's okay kind of thing. I have the idea, and I know I'm going to act on it eventually. I just didn't feel like acting on it today, in all honesty. I really just did not feel like it. But I mean, like, hey, I ain't got no issue with that, you know what I'm saying? Now let's just darken this area up just a little bit, and let's darken this area up just a little bit. 
just like that. And let's go ahead and start darkening up some of these lines. And I think the mouth is sufficiently all good, but I am going to do uh, just one more layer. Can you all see that properly? I think you can. I'm just going to do one more layer right here just to thicken it up just a little bit more. And now I'm going to go ahead and just darken this up just a little bit kind of thing. Oof. And do I like how that looks? Eh, it's okay, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really the biggest fan of it. It is what it is, though. Yeah, I'm not really the biggest fan of how that looks, I will admit. Uh, but that's whatever kind of thing. It just draw, it gives the uh, drawing a little bit of personality, you know what I'm saying? But I will admit I'm not the biggest fan of how that looks. Alrighty, though. I think there's really only one more thing to do, and I think that is to do the outline on the fish uh, one more time. And then I think it is time for me to go ahead and add the final details which i think are just on the fins i think that's all i need to do yeah i think that's all i need to do and then after that the fish will be all done so let's just go ahead and do the second layer on these and then i'm going to go ahead and darken up some of the areas just like that and now let's go ahead and just darken up some of these areas And there we go. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, I think that's all done. I think that's all done. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this drawing. Am I the most happy with it in the world? I will admit no. No, I'm not the most happy with it in the world. I certainly do think it's better than not. I definitely do think it's better than not. Uh, but it's certainly not my best art ever, I will admit. Uh, the main thing that's bothering me about this drawing is this right here, in all honesty. Uh, but I certainly do not think it's bad by any means. I think that just gives the drawing some personality, but that is something that does bother me a little bit. Uh, but nonetheless, I am much happier uh, with this uh, watercolor painting than not. And overall, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. And hey, I mean, like, that's the point of doing art, right? Just to have fun. Uh, and this has certainly been a lot of fun. Uh, so certainly no complaints on my behalf. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed water, uh, watching me watercolor paint, paint a magenta fish in today's video. And I said, I've had a lot of fun uh, while watercolor painting this fish in today's video. And if you guys have enjoyed watching, of course, please make sure to well like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my main channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. And of course, make sure to leave any constructive criticism or watercolor tips y'all have for me in the comments comments down below. But yeah, no, thank you very much for watching, guys. I think that's all I had to say. Uh, I give myself some constructive criticism. I do like this more so than not, though, I will admit. And I think I accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish with this drawing. Uh, so as such, I don't think I have anything else to do. Without further ado, though, let's go ahead and end the video right here. Thank you very much for watching, y'all. To the next one. Stay safe and peace. Have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?